it's been a, a really good year. I feel like um, you have to look at it in two ways. Obviously, as a team, um, maybe we underperformed. So I feel like we struggled to, to, to get into the points this year. But um, other than that, you know, personally speaking, as, as a driving wise, I was, I was very happy. I feel like I had a year away from the sport and to get back into it um, and get points early in the season, it was a, a very positive year. And it's obviously, um, I feel like at least it's put me on the map and, I, and I'm here to stay now for, for a while in Formula One. My favorite circuit would be Suzuka. We had a, a long break with COVID but um, I think it was three years last time, so um, it was great to go back um, and uh, it's a very fun circuit to drive. I have to say, as a, as a year back into the sports, um, it couldn't have gone much better. I, f I feel like the only thing which um, could have gone better is, is not getting uh, appendicitis in, in Monza. And, uh, and, of, and of course, you know, if we, if we had a more competitive car, we could have scored some more points and, and, and that would have been great. But given what the, the opportunities we had, I, I, feel, I feel very content with, with the year. There hasn't been too many difficulties this year. It's more been about yeah. trying to stay on top of it. it. It's been challenging because previous years I've been obviously fighting more towards the top side of the grid. You know, we've been finishing in the top five a few times and um, that was kind of my, my mindset every weekend was to try and score podiums. Whereas this year has been a little bit more of a reset. It's been more focused on need to try to score in the top 10 if I can. Some, some races you finish P16, P17 and, and that's, that's all that was possible. So um, the expectation has changed. Um, the value of success has changed as well. But the drive and the motivation is always there. So um, that was, that's been the biggest difference. It's a long-term project, so we uh, obviously this was my first year with the team. Um, learning to understand how they work is obviously slightly different to, to Red Bull, but um, you know there's a lot of space to improve. I feel like we have a good foundation. We know the areas we need to improve, and um, the mindset within the team is positive. So during the winter now, there's a lot of hard work to make sure that we can get the car back to speed, back to where we should be. Um, so I'm excited to, to work closely over the winter and um, hopefully score some more points next year. Yeah, you know, this year we were never close enough to the midfield. There was maybe one or two circuits that we could fight, but um, it wasn't very often. Next year, I feel like if we make the car quicker, obviously we're going to be fighting more. We don't need a lot. We just need, you know, a little bit more. We can then start fighting. So that's the, that's the goal. Next year's target, um, I would like to say if we can score, um, you know, finish the season um, P8, P7 in the Constructors' Championship, that would be a, a great step forward for us. Um, that won't be easy because some of the teams that we were fighting with in previous years have made a big step forward, so we need to, to do that as well. Um, so that's, that would be a, a good goal. If, you could, um, if we could achieve that, I'd be very happy. I feel very proud to be um, a Monsoon Valley ambassador. I feel like we share very similar values. Um, of course, Monsoon Valley is on the world stage, selling wine around the world. Um, I'm driving my car around the world too. Um, and I feel very proud to be able to, to show people Thai wine and, and show the best of what we have. So um, yeah, I feel very, very privileged. Obviously with, with Seb retiring, it's a, uh, it's a shame he's a big idol to, to most people in the sport and he's um, clearly got a huge impact to, to everyone around him. Uh, he's, what he's accomplished not just in Formula 1 but what he does with his charity work and um, with his vision outside of the sport, it's, um, it's very impressive and I think it's very inspirational for all drivers, younger drivers as well, um, to value themselves and see, you know, he's become more than just a Formula 1 driver, he's become a, an ambassador as well. With Logan it's a bit of an unknown, he's obviously um, very quick, I feel like uh, he was teammates with Liam Lawson last year, uh, this year sorry in Formula 2 and he's proved himself to be uh, very quick so I know it's going to be very good for us as a team to, to have a quick driver 
um, on board. He's obviously going to be young and, and um, relatively inexperienced. So I feel like you know, we're going to work together very well and um, push the team forwards next year. Yes, um, well firstly, hello. Um, it's great to be back in Thailand. Um, I love coming here. This year's been, uh, I think, a positive year. I hope you guys have been enjoying the season. Um, going into next year, I feel always your support. Um, so um, it makes me go on circuit a little bit faster every time. Um, and yes, you know, I wear my Thai, I wear my Thai flag and, and my helmet with pride. I love to to see the Thai colours um, wherever I go. Sometimes I see it in the grandstands um, during the races, and it makes me um, extremely happy and honoured. So uh, here's to the future, and hopefully um, we can achieve even greater success.